Okay, so here I am in Excel. The first thing I'm going to do is create kind of like a skeleton table with the distribution table up top that was provided and then everything I plan to calculate over in column A. In order to use the calculations in Excel, I need to get rid of this x equals on the top row of my distribution table. I know that to find the population mean mu, I'm going to need to calculate x times the probability of x. Also, I know that in order to find the standard deviation of this probability distribution, I'm going to need to calculate x minus mu, x minus mu squared, and then finally x minus mu squared times probability of x. Okay, so what I've highlighted here in blue is the probability distribution, and then in yellow is everything I'm going to calculate. So let's go ahead and get started starting with x times the probability of x. Type equals into the cell, then click on the value of x, and it'll give the cell reference b1. Write the little time symbol, and then click on the cell for the probability of x, which is b2. Press enter. Okay, I don't need to type in the formula for all of um, the, the rest of the row. Instead, I just click on this little square and scroll it to the right. All right, and great, this is exactly what we found when we did it by hand. I need to find the sum of all these values. So I'll type equals and then I'll write sum. I'll open parentheses and then I'll highlight all of the data. Close parentheses. Okay, great. 1.95. That's exactly the same that I found by hand. All right, next let's start finding our standard deviation. So in this first cell, I'm going to write equals, and I want the value of x, so 0, which is, I'm going to reference it by just clicking on it, b1, minus mu. I just calculated mu to be 1.95. So type in 1.95. Press enter. Okay, and once again, I don't need to do that for every cell. Instead, I'm just going to get my little cursor to look like a cross and scroll to the right. Great. All right, next, I'm gonna square each of those differences. So I'm gonna type equals, I'm gonna highlight the difference, and then I'm gonna do the little caret and square it. Great, so get my little cursor to look like a cross and scroll to the right. All right, lastly, to find my standard deviation, I'm going to type equals, and I'm going to take this square difference, type multiply, and I'm going to multiply it by the probability of x. Okay, just click on that cell, and then press enter. Okay, click on the cell again. Okay, get to that black cross, and scroll to the right. Great. So the variance, right, or sigma squared, okay, equals the sum of that bottom row. Close parentheses. If I want to know the standard deviation, or sigma, then I need to take the, I'm going to type in equals sqrt, which is the square root, open parentheses, click on the cell that has the variance, close parentheses, and press enter. Perfect. That's exactly what I found when I did it by hand. 